So welcome back to this weird alternate reality in 2018, judged by champ manager 0102, where we are Tottenham manager in England's third division, which is called the second division, where Harry Kane, Christian Eriksen don't exist. Like, they just don't exist. Like Hugo Lloris, like all the Trippier, all the players you love and know now don't exist. We have monumental players like John Hodgson in goal, who I always want to call Hodgson, but that's not his name. John Hodgson is our goalkeeper. We have made some signings, we have got some injuries, we have got players that are wanted, and we have, uh, available only, that's what I want, we have sold some players. So let's have a quick look at the transfers. On the ins, uh, Fred Anderson was brought in before we were here. Michael Mahan, the right back who we brought in last episode, is here. Looking pretty good, we brought him in for two and a half, that, uh, two and a half thousand, no, 2.5 million. Juan Jose Jimenez joins for two and a half minutes as well. Striker had a really good preseason before picking up an injury, but looks like he could be very, very good for us. On a free transfer, Tonton Zolo Makuko. Those people that play champ manager or have seen champ manager and stuff like that, you know what this guy's about. He's going to be good. He is 34, but he's a coach as well, and he's a terrible, terrible coach. But, yeah. He, just trust me, just, if you don't know chat manager, just trust me. Uh, after him, we brought in Mads Tim on a free transfer from Coventry. Again, this is one I went through last re um, last episode, just to say why we brought him in. Because of, when he was at Man United, he was rated really highly, and I think he'll do well for us in the third or second division, however we want to call it. And last but not least, we brought in from Chelsea, who are in the first division, not the Premier League, Thomas Zimmerman as a left back. Um, I've brought him in as an important first team player. Chances are he won't get that many games, but he's a good another option to have at left back because we were struggling in that position. The rest of the fixtures that we have played, the free, the friendlies on a random tour of Northern Ireland. We beat Linfield 5-0, we beat Glentoran 1-0, we beat Distillery 6-0. Two goals from Zolo Makuko, two goals from Andy Robertson in a central midfield role, and two goals from Ola Alderson as well up front and today we are playing Grimsby and we'll see how far we get through the season so to play Grimsby it's going to be Hodgson in goal Craig is going to be left back Mahan is going to be right back and the two centre backs are going to be Campbell wherever he's gone there and Aguado the three across the middle so this is where it gets interesting because what we're actually going to play is we're going to play Unsworth on the left hand side and then we're going to put Robson back in the middle he scored two goals from this position last time last time and Anderson on the right hand side. Holmes is a bit too shit, for want of a better word, to be starting. Uh, Mako Toto Zolo, actually, we're going to play Mads Tim in behind, then it's going to be Toto Zolo, Zola Makoko up front. He was a real player. Go and check him out. He was, he's a, well, he's a blooming legend in Champ Manager 102 terms. And Adolfsson will be starting up front as well. Um, other players that I think someone would have asked me to go and check out to see if they still exist is Tizalco, who has retired. He was a world, uh, champ manager 0102 legend as well. That is our starting lineup for, for the team and for how we're going to play. Mahan, Aguado, Campbell, uh, Craig, Anderson, Robson, Unsworth, Tim, and Dolphson, and Mukoko. As you can see, pretty much a starting 11 in numbers apart from Unsworth, who is just in this game being replaced. Um, Burgess would normally start, but Unsworth has done pretty well in the friendlies. On the bench, no goalkeeper on the bench because we only get five subs. It's going to be Zimmerman. Um, it's going to be Howard. No, it's not. It's going to be Smith. Uh, it's going to be Burgess and it's going to be DeVries. And then we've got another we can use who's a bit of a utility. This is always the key. We'll go with Howard. He's a bit of a utility player and can cover a lot of spaces. Everybody is fully fit and ready to go. Uh, Zolo Makuko is going to be the captain for the day. And off we go into the game. Zimmerman needs a number. He can get the number 26. And we are off. Let's just reduce that down to fast where I was doing the friendlies in very fast. But I really hope you enjoy the Champ Mandro 102 series. It's something different. It's something like I've wanted to do for a while. And hopefully they haven't got a penalty. No, they don't. But yeah, it's going, it's going well. We are Tottenham. We should win. Really, we should win. Oh, we got a penalty. Robson. Sticks it in. It's 1-0. He sends the keeper the wrong way. 1-0. Robson in that unfamiliar one. Well, I started him at left back and now he's playing central midfield and doing a very, very good job of it. So, for those that don't know about Champ Andrew 1-2, you can't just press the button and go and make changes. You've got to wait for the ball to go out of play because... 
that's what happened in 2001. You, you, as a manager, you can discuss things with your players or make tactical changes. They've got a penalty. Aguado has been sent off. Brilliant. Uh, um, okay, we're going to take off Adolfson for Smith. He's going to drop back there. Mads Tim is going to play out there. Uh, we're going to sort of lead two over, and Unsworth is going to be running all the way up to make it a front three when we get up there because we need some attackers. Jamal Johnson sticks it in. Is that Jamal Johnson that used to play for Man United? It is Jamal Johnson that used to play for Man United. Wow, he's uh, he's been around a bit. But yeah, so hopefully that's not going to stop us playing as we want to. Annoyingly, I don't want to lose the first game, but now we're down to 10 men. That could be a bit of an issue. But 1-1, one, one, as uh, five minutes to go till half-time. We're reading the text that it's lobbed in. Free kick. Two minutes of time added on. It's probably not going to be too much happening. It's not. Into half-time. And we're now playing... Oh, yeah. It's not going brilliantly well. Let's drop it down to normal. Um, we're actually going to go for that as well. We're just going to take it off hard tackling. Go back down to normal. And see what we can do. Is it another penalty? Are they getting... No, they bloody hell. Penalties all over the place in this game. Or potential penalties. And penalty shouts all over the place. As Tottenham keep it going. Yeah, Craig gives it in back as a foul. Left footed half volley. Burton puts it over the bar. Burton Godwin is a mouthful of a name to try and announce at this speed. But yeah. Um, other big teams that are down here. Sheffield Wednesday were once in the Premiership. Swansea are now in the Premiership. Well, were in the Premiership last season in real life. And Grimsby have scored. That's very, very annoying. So let's see what we can do to mix this up a bit. The new signings aren't really clicking as much as I'd want them to. So are they going to get another? No, they're not. It's still 2-1, 20 minutes to go. Um, let's drop Mads Tim back there. We'll stop him running up. We'll go for the old classic arrow. Obviously, when people talk about arrows in the modern football manager as well, this is what they're talking about, the fact that you could do all of this sort of stuff. Um... Who's not playing very well? Well, quite a lot of people are not playing brilliantly well. Let's take Mahan off for Zimmerman and we'll swap those two over. We are probably launching too many men forward, but we'll see what happens. Hmm. This is the problem where now you can't go too in deep into the game to try and make changes. You can just sort of change arrows, change positions. But we're going okay at the moment. 76 minutes, 2-1 down, down to 10 men for a long time in the game. And it's, well, I'm still thinking, I'm trying to find us a better goalkeeper. That's something I'm trying to find. But generally, this is just a, a, a trip down memory lane for champ manager 0102. And I know I said, oh, Makoka just over the bar. I know I said I'd do one with either Man United or this unemployed team where you start with no players. But I thought, I just want this to be a, a small series where we can do it when I can get it recorded quite easily and get it ready to be released for when I'm in the UK and I won't be actually able to record videos. As we're 3-1 down to Grimsby. We are 3-1 down to Grimsby. This is rubbish. This is absolutely rubbish. We'll have a tweak with the tactics. We're going to go and look into wibble wobble nonsense and stuff like that. I'm not going to appeal it. He got a straight red card. Obviously they're unhappy. We lost. That's, I'm unhappy. Everyone's unhappy. Team instructions then. Um, I don't think we want men behind the ball. I think that's what I want to do. That is what I want to do. Let's go and have a look with the ball then. Let's get let's get people forward. Let's get people in the area. Let's get people up here. We'll keep these guys. We're going we're gonna to play quite narrow. We are going to play quite narrow. Without the ball, defensively, yeah, we want people back. We want numbers back defensively. We want people to work hard. That's what we want to do. We want people to load. We want to just load the box and get in the way. It's basically like storm in the box. That's what we want to do. Just don't let them get into it. I mean, this is this is something the football manager, I think, can um, from set pieces and stuff. I think the, like the common football manager now. That's this is something you could really benefit from. Let's push all these. Let's get people forward when we're in this this part of the pitch. You know, let's get them up there. We can afford. We're playing an offside trap. We can afford to have. But we're playing high. Are we playing high press? We should be playing high press. Okay, let's go. We'll be yes, yes, yes. We're going to do high press, which means we're going to shove a lot of people forward here and really try and get in them I mean you can come across you can come across there you can push up a little bit and the same on this side I mean look we don't need to play this flat 4-3-3 when we're there the right winger should be up high like right back should be up higher you can cover across center back covers in there you come down there you get towards the back post let's load people in and around the box let's put some effort in there so that we can move it around a little bit I mean that's probably gonna cause all sorts of havoc 
But we'll be back for the next game where we might have to mix things up a bit. I think Unsworth didn't actually impress, so Burgess can come back in for the next game. But uh, I have no idea who we're signing. They, QPR have signed someone. Turner, Turner's leaving. Um, he's a pretty decent striker, but I've brought in loads of new strikers now. So, um, yeah, looking for goalkeepers. Derek Dallas looks like he could have some decent stats in there. Uh, Mark Evans as well was another one. Hugo Pinario doesn't have a club. He has good stats, but not 100% sure. I wonder if Chiotis has actually retired. I never actually checked it. Oh, yeah, he has. Um, I can't think of any young goalkeepers that would be around. But yeah, well, we're going to, you know, it's only one game. It's only one game. We're away and we went down to 10 men early on. So we'll have to see what happens. Is uh, Brazil, Argentina and the United States have submitted game, uh, well, it's a bid to host the 2026 World Cup. Um, Paul Berry is subject to... Well, no, I'm going to have to reject that because I don't have another goalkeeper at the moment. But yeah, that's high on the agenda. If anyone can remember what the stats were for a good goalkeeper in Champ Andre 102, that would be really, really helpful. No, Chris, deny the rumour. Chris Campbell is going absolutely nowhere. I'm pretty sure it was just handling that you needed. I'm pretty sure... It was handling. Determination was always a really key stat as well. Andrew Adea, 34 though. I don't really want a 34-year-old goalkeeper, just in case. Derek, 24. Maybe we just take a punt on Derek Dallas and see, you know, I'm happy just to take a punt. Let's go and have a look. We're into the next game in just a sec. They want 1.8. Yeah, we've got loads of money. Jimenez returns to full training. Excellent. Which means Adolfo will go on the bench instead of De Vries. And we will go from there. Okay, uh, Derek Dallas, we'll just go squad rotation at the moment. He's happy to move for that. So, let's go with it. He's, he, he's yeah, he's happy to move here. 1.8 million. I think, aren't Tranmir in, like, a much higher division than us? They're in the Premiership and we've just bought their goalkeeper. They're in the Premiership and we've just bought their starting goalkeeper. Wow, that's impressive. Okay, hopefully he will be an upgrade then. He can go straight into the first team. Um, we're going to stick with, with this. We are going to stick with it. Tim, Jimenez, Makoku. Yeah, that's what we're going to go with. So Dallas, um, he can get the number 31 as he's a goalkeeper. And Jimenez can have the number 50 because uh, I forgot to give him a good number. So we'll get the game underway and let's hope it works. We're at home, so hopefully the attacking formation will work a bit better. As uh, we're moving up with the ball. Burr just doing a lot of work, but Kevin, no Kevin Nolan? It's the, it's, it's this, it is Kevin Nolan. It is Kevin Nolan, Liverpool, Blackburn, back to Liverpool, Aston Villa, Chesterfield. Wow, okay, it is, it is the Kevin Nolan. Interesting, so you see players do crop up from the modern day and stuff like that, so, or the recent modern day. As uh, Tottenham come, well, we're, we're putting on the back foot a bit here. If that's, if that's Gary Flickcroft as well. No, it's not Terry Flickcroft. Okay, that's okay. So Matt Janssen was a really big good player in this game as well. As uh, Barry Turner's fouled, Anderson was holding him back, yellow card. For Anderson and Dunn shot to flex off the wall. Mads Tim picks it up. Long ball upfield. Tottenham withhold the pressure. Brilliant. Well, we're not we're not doing as well as I thought we would at the moment. Maybe we need to go a little bit. I don't know. Get a few more men forward. We'll see. There's a free kick given. Burgess has a go. Saved. He spills it. Nolan picks it up and clears. And it's, yeah, it's all a bit of a nothing game at the moment. Champ Andro 102. I mean, look, it's just its simplicity. It's so fun to see it and so easy to play the games. Um, I think we're going to roughly get like three games an episode in. Makuku, oh, it's a corner. Good save. Chris Campbell at the back has now been injured. So Lee Smith is going to have to come on for another game. That's annoying because Campbell was having a very good game for us there. We're going to swap these guys over. We're going to put Makuku in the role running from a little bit deeper. As um, it's sent forward. Chesterfield are trying to launch a counter-attack here. Controls the best into Morrison. Good sliding challenge. Nothing really to worry about. As um, Delaney intercepts the ball that was pounded for Tim. And again, it launches a counter-attack for Chesterfield. We can't really get in behind them. Half-time at the moment. We'll be back with the second half. Just before we start the second half, we are just going to change... I think we're going to change it up. Attacking short. The hard tackling, it doesn't seem to be having too much of an effect in this game. That's not too bad. Um, pressing, yes. Ugh. We'll turn the offside trap off. We'll try that. I just think, because they're, they're trying to counter us, ju judging by the text that I can read. They're trying to counter us, so we'll go for there. Makoku keeps going. Fierce shot. Totem Zola Makoku, everybody. I told you, just watch it. It's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. 
as uh, we're, oh, they're coming straight back at us and Dallas catch as well. I forgot Dallas' first game, innit? Hopefully you can get a clean sheet as uh, Burgess up to Jimenez. Jimenez looks forward. And okay, we're, we're not we're not doing the best, but we're, we're winning. We're winning our first game as Tottenham manager at the moment. Losing to Grimsby. Tim, add to Tim, it's a corner. Makoko drifts it in and that's easy for Chesterfield to deal with by all accounts. As uh, We'll look to get some subs on, see who's not playing very well. Maybe make some changes. Yellow card to uh, Robson, I think that was in midfield, yeah, who isn't having the best of games. So, um, what can we do here? Because I didn't put a striker. I didn't put, did I put a midfielder on the bench? I don't think I did. Do you know what, we're going to put Zimmerman. Because he's slightly attacking as well, he'll be able to do a job there. I could have brought Mikanswell off on, but he's not really impressed that much. Maybe bring on Adolfson when there's about 10, 5 minutes to go, something like that, for um, Jimenez up front, but we'll go from there. So, they're just about to come forward again, but Zimmerman plays it forward. Makoko, he keeps going. Tim, oh, spectacular half volley that just goes wide. Um, and Jimenez is there. I was going to say I'll take him off, but he scored on his debut in the league. The big money signing for two and a half million down in the second division of English football. Jimenez and Makoko living it up, living the dream. As uh, now they're coming forward again, Chesterfield. And are they going to break us down? Jimenez is winning everything and he heads it. Out to Anderson, Tim, Makoku, back to Tim, back to Makoku, Makoku, back to Tim, back to Makoku, into Jimenez, but he's beaten in the air. And uh, it's just, I just love it. I just love this game. Jimenez heads it over the bar. Good, great football from Tottenham, as the commentary said. But yeah, we're doing all right. A quick look at the player ratings here. Anybody that we can take off. Mads, Tim isn't having a great game, so we'll give Mads, Tim, a little bit of a rest. Or, mm, do we? No, let's just move him around. Let's put him back into that role. We're, we're 2 0 up. We can afford to just mix things around. I need to find who's the best player in that attacking midfield role running through because they all get a lot of the ball. So, Slots Jimenez chips the ball in. Tim, rifles in. Oh, Matt, he's getting the chances. He's just not putting them away. So, with two minutes to go. We'll, we'll, we'll bring him off. We'll give Unsworth a go in that role there. It's probably his more natural position, judging that he's an attacking midfield forward. So. He got like three minutes and didn't do anything. Didn't, did he get enough for a rating? Yeah, he got a six. So not too bad. We're up into 13th. They're happy with the 2-0 win, the board. Let's go into the next game. They're coming thick and fast. We'll see who we've got. Crystal Palace in the League Cup. So this will be an interesting thing, uh, an interesting game to see what sort of level we're playing at. Now, we improved a hell of a lot by taking counter-attacking off. So did we take counter-attacking off or did we take offside trap off? Uh, we took, no, we did that, didn't we? We took off side trap off and we're counter-attacking on. Um, so, Chris Campbell is injured, so he's going to have to come off. How's fitness looking? Yeah, everyone can get through this game, okay. Uh, Campbell will be replaced by, by Smith in there, and then we'll need Bull on the bench to be a centre-back on the bench. Dallas getting a clean sheet on his debut was good. We're going to start with Mads Tim in that role. Although Makoko did score as soon as we put him there. We'll start Makoko in there. Continue the game. Let's get into the game against Crystal Palace as the last game of this episode. And let's see how we get on. League Cup, Crystal Palace in the division above us. We're at home at White Hart Lane. And uh, let's see what we can do. Makoko takes it in his stride. Finds Jimenez. Tried to lay it off again, but we couldn't find the next man. But Sanchez picks it up at Palace. And I remember how bad the like contrast, if you had a kit like Crystal Palace is, there's a couple. NK Maribor, weirdly, and this had a terrible contrasting kit with the purple and the yellow. Uh, Crystal Palace with the red and blue is really hard on the eyes to see. But um, Mads Tim's trying to get in there. He gets out-jumped by the defender. Robson hits in. Jimenez can't hold it. Dawson gets it away. And uh, Crystal Palace look to counter. But we do well to sniff that out. Half an hour gone. And against a bigger team. Well, not a bigger team. A team in a higher division. We're, we're holding our own at the moment as Robson controlled the ball with his arm. Is that going to give Crystal Palace a chance? No, it doesn't. Which is good. So 35 minutes in. 40 minutes. Come up to 40 minutes. If we can nick a goal just before half time. Him and Evans to Makoko. He's flags up. It's a free kick. And Dallas easily claims it. Which is very, very good. Robson. No, no. We put a ball in. No one got onto the end of it. Mikel Sanchez. Sanchez to Aguedo. Aguedo. He's got really good stats. I'm just wondering if he's a bit too aggressive in centre back. When we play hard tackling as well. Mads Tim. He's not. I've signed him with like rose tinted glasses and he's really not impressing me at the moment so we're going to swap those two over let's try and get him in that role again try and get him a bit more influential and i hope i haven't really cocked up by signing him but 
Ah, what does it matter? See him, Anderson collects. Well, Anderson shoots. It's deflected. And it's a corner. Mahan swings it in, but it's easy for the goalkeeper to catch. And uh, you know, I'm not too upset with this result at the moment. Crystal Palace are in the division above us, so it's going to be hard work. Smith, Mahan, Robson. Robson is pushed. Burgess, Tim, Mads, Tim. Tim goes down. Is it? It's indirect free kick. Obstruction. Jimenez takes it away from Dawson, but it's a good tackle. And uh, we'll maybe look to get some subs on in a minute. As Douglas runs at the ball to Shaw. Shaw, it's a good move this. Mahan tackles. Free kick. He shoots off the wall. Robson collects it up to Jimenez. Tottenham withhold the pressure. And 20 minutes to go. Let's look to get some fresh legs on. Maybe a Dolphson up front. Makoku finds himself in space. But it's a good save. And uh, you get proper tongue twisters in this commentary as well. Finds himself in space. Uh, Mads Tim is actually growing into the game a little bit more. Michael Mahan's having an awful game. So we're going to put... Craig back into his natural right back spot and bring Zimmerman on on the left. That's a shame for Mahan. He's uh, He's been good for us in the first two league games, really. Jimenez lays it off. No one can get on the pass. But Robson is doing very well in centre midfield, according to the text. He's won everything in the air, which is good to see. So, 10 minutes to go. Can we make a change to open this game up for us? As, oh, no. Dallas has given away a penalty, he's got sent off, he clipped his feet as he's through. I don't have a goalkeeper on the bench. Oh, damn. <laughs> right. Um, now I need to try and remember. Height was judged by jumping ability, I think. I think jumping ability had a massive thing on height. So you basically want someone with 20 jumping. Um, and then generally good handling so three one but his jumping is 16 handling three jumping eight so he's got the handling but he hasn't really got the jumping ability have we got anyone that's already out there that's got a handling of better than one or three probably not uh center backs you're normally quite good at jumping let's shove a center back and go it's going to be lee smith and then we'll push Zimmerman in here. Actually, no, we don't need to do that, do we? Because we've got Robson that can come there. Uh, and then we'll sacrifice Mad Tim for... No, we're going to do that, yeah, for Tommy Bull. And we'll keep Robson in the middle there. He can go out to the left. Burgess will become the runner through the middle. It's a penalty. And they've scored it because I've got a centre-back in goal, obviously. Oh, man. Another red card. Maybe I need to take hard tackle. Enough. Although that was a one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. And I think it's just, you know, he went for the ball and didn't get him. It's not really a hard tackle. As uh, Crystal Palace look like they're going through to the second round of the League Cup. Unless we can nick a goal with ten men. Robson handles the ball. I probably should have put him in goal. He's handled it loads. Um, yeah, minute to go in normal time. That's it. Final whistle. We're out. I think it's just... Oh. We've lost both games. Where I'm gonna I'm gonna appeal. I'm gonna appeal that one. See what they say. We've lost both two games where we've got a man sent off. So if we can keep eleven men on the pitch, then we're doing alright. Neil Berry has moved to Bristol City, which is an interesting move. I've no idea who he is or what he does. But yeah, so De Vries could make a three point seven move to Man City. We'll uh, we'll say we'll just say there's no comment at the moment. I'm not too sure what to make of all of that. So here we go then. Um is that, was that three games? I think that was three games, wasn't it? How are we doing for time? Yeah, I should probably end the episode there. That's really annoying that Dallas has got that sending off. I mean, he did so well in his first game. He did so well in his first game. But yeah, well, we're 13th in Division 2 with Tottenham in a, with the team that we really should be beating. Um, who have we got coming up? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Who have we got coming up? Where's fixtures? Fixtures. So... Wigan, Sheffield Wednesday, Bournemouth, Yeovil could have missed the Derby, Colchester. I mean, there's no real massive games. In real life, you'd probably call the game against... There are no big games. Swansea, like Tottenham Swansea would probably be the biggest out of these teams in real life. But there we go. We'll do that quick save again. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. We'll go to the outro stream screen. And thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure once again. I hope you're enjoying this little fun series. But thanks very much for watching. I'm out. Cheers.